Friday. After Rowley left yesterday, I really got to work on some comics. I came up with this character called Creighton the Creighton. And I got on a roll. Creighton the Creighton by Greg Heffrey. Hi, my name is Creighton. No reason. Your name is Stupid. Oops. Hi, I'm stupid. Har 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 har. Hmm? I must have banged out 20 stripes and I didn't break a sweat. I wonder what is in this cute little box. That's not a box. That's a freaking dumb moron. Oops. I have been trying to open it all day. Doctor, can I have a new butt? My old one has a crack in it. Creighton, I told you a million times. Everyone's butt has a crack in it. Oh yeah, I forgot. The great thing about these Creighton the Creighton comics is that with all the idiots running around my school, you will never run out of new material. When I got to school today, I took my comics to Mr. Ira's office. He's the teacher who runs the school newspaper, you see. But when I wanted to turn my strips in, I saw that there were a pile of comics from other kids who were trying out for the job. Most of them were p pretty bad, so I wasn't worried about the competition. Girls Rule by Tabitha Cutter and Lisa Russell. Don't, wa don't walk near our table, Tyler Green. Yeah, you're not even cute. Trip. Ha 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 ha. Girls Rule. Smack. Extreme Skaters. I'm going to do this rad jump. Yo, dude, watch out for that telephone wire. Whatever. Here I go. Slice! Darn. Bonk. Ouch. I sure am glad I wore my helmet. The end. One of the comics was called Dumb Teachers. And it was written by this girl named Bill Tripp. Bill is always in detention, so I guess he has a bone to pick with just about every teacher in the school, including Mr. Ira. So I'm not too worried about the chances of Bill's comic getting in either. Hey, Mr. Ira, you pooped in your pants again. Nuh-uh! Yeah! Yeah! Stink lines from the poop. There are actually one or two decent comics in the bin, but I slipped them under a pile of paperwork on Mr. Ivor's desk. Hopefully, those ones won't turn up until I'm in high school. Thursday! Today, drum roll, bum. During morning announcements, I got the news I was hoping for. Drum roll, bum. And the new cartoonist for the school paper is. Drum roll, bum ba -dum. Greg Hefley! The paper came out today at lunchtime and everyone was reading it. I really wanted to pick up a copy to see my name in print, but I decided to just play it cool for a while instead. I sat at the end of the lunch table so there would be plenty of room for me to start signing autographs for my new fans. Next... But nobody was coming over to tell me how great my comics was. And I started to get the feeling something was wrong. I grabbed the paper and went into the bathroom to check it out. And when I saw my comic, I practically had a heart attack. Mr. Arrow told me he had made some minor edits to my comic. And I thought he just meant he fixed spelling mistakes and stuff like that. But he told her, totally butchered it. it. The comic he ruined was one of my favorite ones. In the original, Crane the Crichton is taking a math test, and he accidentally eats it. And then the teacher yells at him for being such a moron. By the time Mr. Ira was done with it, you could pra you could pra you practically couldn't recognize it as the same strip. Crichton the Curious Student by Gregory Huffley. Teacher. If X was 43.89, then what would X be? Crichton! X would be 46. Thanks. Kids, if you want to learn more about...
about math, be sure to m visit Mr. Humphrey during his office hours, or visit the library and check out our newly expanded math and science section. So I'm pretty sure I won't be signing autographs anytime soon. Show of danger's pet! March. Wednesday. Me and Rowley were enjoying our hot chocolate in the cafeteria with the rest of the patrols today. And there was an announcement on the loudspeaker. Rowley Jefferson, report to Mr. Winsky's office immediately. Rowley went down to Mr. Winsky's office. And when Rowley came back 15 minutes later, he looked pretty shaken up. Apparently, Mr. Winsky got a call from a parent who said that they witnessed Rowley terrorizing the kindergartners when he was supposed to be walking them home from school, and Mr. Winsky was really mad about it. Rowley said Mr. Winsky yelled at him for about 10 minutes and said his actions disrespected the badge. You know, I think I might just know what this is all about. Last week, Rowley had to take a quiz during the fourth period, so I walked the kindergartners home on my own. It had rained in the morning, and there were a lot of worms on the sidewalk. So I decided to have some fun with the kids. Eee! Chasing them with worms, for example. Eee! But some neighborhood lady saw what I was doing, and she yelled at me from her front porch. It was Mr. Irvine, Arvine, who was friends with Raleigh's mom. She must have thought I was Raleigh because I was borrowing his coat. And I wasn't about to correct her either. Raleigh! Jefferson, the principal is going to hear about this. Yes, ma'am. I forgot about the whole incident until today. Anyway, Mr. Winsky told Raleigh he's going to have to apologize to the kindergartners tomorrow morning, and that he's suspended for patrols for a week. I knew I should probably just tell Mr. Winsky it was me who chased the kids with the worms, but I wasn't ready to set the record straight just yet. I knew if I confessed, I'd lose my hot chocolate privileges. And that right there was enough to make me keep quiet for the time being. At dinner tonight, Mom could tell something was bothering me, so she came up to my room afterward to talk. I told her I was in a tough situation, and I didn't know what to do. I got to give Mom credit for how she handled it. She didn't try to pry to get and get all the details. All she said was that I should try to do the right thing because it's our choices that make us who we are. I figure that's pretty decent advice, but I'm still not 100% sure what I'm going to do tomorrow. Thursday. Well, I was up all night tossing and turning over this rally situation, but I finally made up my mind. I decided the right thing to do was to just let Rally take one for the team this time around. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I terrorized you children. Hmm? 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 On the way home from school, I came clean with Rally and told him the whole truth about what happened and how it was me who chased the kids with the worms. Then I told him there were lessons we could both learn from this. I told him I learned to be more careful about what I do in front of Mr. Mrs. Arvine's off house and that he learned a valuable lesson too, which is this. Be careful about who you lend your coat to. I guess this has been a learning experience for both of us. To be honest with you, my message didn't seem to get be getting through to Rowley. We were supposed to hang out after school today, but he said he was just going to go home and take a nap. I couldn't really blame him, because he, if I didn't have my hot chocolate this morning, I wouldn't have had much energy either. When I got home, Mom was waiting for me at the front door. Did you do the right thing? Yeah! Mom took me out to get some ice cream as a special treat. And what this whole episode has taught me is that every once in a while, that's such a bad idea to listen to your mother. Slurp. Tuesday. There was another announcement on the loudspeaker today, and to be honest with you, I kind of figured this one was coming. Greg Hefley, 
Please report to Mr. Winsky's office. Sip. I knew it was just a matter of time before I got busted for what happened last week. When I got to Mr. Winsky's office, he was really mad. Mr. Winsky told me that an anonymous source had informed him that I was the real culprit in the worm chasing incident. Then he told me I was relieved of my safety patrol duties effective immediately. Well, it doesn't take a detective to figure out that the anonymous source was Rowley. I can't believe Rowley went and backstabbed me like that. While I was sitting there getting chewed out by Mr. Winsky, I was thinking, I need to remember to give my friend a lecture about loyalty. Later on today, Rowley got re resin reinstated as a patrol. And get this, he actually got a promotion. Mr. Winsky said Rowley had... Exhibited dignity under false suspicion. I thought about really letting Rowley have it for ratting me out like that. But right then I realized something. In June, all the officers in the safety patrol go on a trip to Six Flags. And they got to take along one friend. And they each make sure Rowley knows I'm his guy. Let me get this for you, Captain.